It seems like everyone is confused these days. Each client and prospect we talk to has expressed their views not just on what will happen in November, but in June as well. And no, I'm not talking about politics, I'm talking about our stock market. One question I'm getting a lot these days is, what's your outlook, Dave? Are you a bull or are you a bear? Well, interestingly enough, when this topic comes up and I ask you the very same question, the results are split, typically about 50-50 bulls to bears. And what everyone does agree on when I ask is that this upcoming election will have a huge effect on our economy and stock market. But let's step back a minute. Historically, bulls have outnumbered bears three to one. And typically, the majority of people feel positively inclined towards the stock market. Lately, however, more and more people are sure that our country is going into a recession and that this will be forced by a downward movement in the stock market and that we'll see repercussions across all industries. I don't know if that outlook is right or wrong, but for those of you calling for a bear market, my hat is off to you. It's bold to be able to make predictions like that, and if you get it right, you'll be the guy or girl who can brag at the summer cocktail parties that you were right. If you're wrong, well, however, you might find yourself in a bit of pain as you may miss out on an incredible market opportunity. The reality is that I don't know and neither do you. But here's what I do know. Since July of 2014, we've had 8 to 12 significant swings in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Another reality is that the markets are higher now than they were in July 14 which is amazing considering all the craziness in today's world. All those swings are testing the resolves of the proverbial bulls, and they're emboldening the bears who say it's only a matter of time until the market tops out and heads to zero. All this movement has created a lot of confusion for individual investors who may have been told that the markets average seven or even eight percent a year, even though it hasn't done that for over two years. So why are the markets oscillating back and forth like this? Well, the rest of the world is in chaos, our economy is chugging along without any super-powered growth, and we're repeating the post-World War II era of low rates as the great refinancing of American debt is happening right before our eyes. The markets are really just meandering along, and so is the economy. And that's not a bad thing. One thing that is hurting, however, is that individual investors are pulling out of the markets at the highest rate we've seen in five years. And this is putting a lid on the markets as individual investors are saying, whew, I'm even with where I would have been if I bought stock at Christmas of 2014, or St. Patty's Day of 2015, or Memorial Day of 2015. To summarize, I'm going to tolerate each one of you having your own opinion on bear or bull markets, and with 2020 hindsight, someone will eventually be proven correct. But please, don't ask me to pick a side. Many times historically there have been periods where the stock market simply hasn't gone anywhere for a period of time. Remember, the stock market follows the economy, not the other way around. And right now, we're not seeing any huge growth, so there's little growth in our stock market. But there are areas in the market right now that provide opportunities for investors. So if that rich uncle dies, or if you hit that Powerball, with that ticket you bought at a gas station on your summer road trip, or you get a bonus at work, give us a call. We'll walk you through whatever opportunities exist based on what the markets are doing that week.